All right, in this video, we're gonna close the case about whether or not you can actually gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. Now, there's like really different schools of thought around this. Some people say it's absolutely impossible, right? So we'll say, yeah, you can do it. So let's get into really what actually is required to gain muscle and what really is required to lose fat and realistically, what is actually possible, okay? So first order of business, if you wanna look really, really, really good, that requires two things. It requires that you have a good level of muscle mass and a low level of body fat. If you have a good level of muscle mass and a low level of body fat, well, you're gonna look awesome. If you have a bit more fat, it's gonna cover, blur up your muscle and you're not gonna have the definition, you're gonna have the proportion. So you really, the goal is really two things, minimum fat, maximum muscle. And of course you can get proportion and put on muscle in different places and that's all very important too. So ultimately with fitness, we're trying to optimize for those two things. Now, as far as what is really possible, let's talk about fat loss first. So for fat loss, what you really need to achieve fat loss is you need to be in a calorie deficit. You need to create a disparity between how many calories you're taking in and how much you're burning. And that differential will result in weight loss, okay? That doesn't mean necessarily fat loss, that could be muscle loss, that could be fat loss, et cetera. So in order to make sure it's mostly fat loss, you gotta have the right amount of protein, you gotta be strength training to trigger your body to retain muscle, and you have to be in the right calorie deficit because if you go too extreme, let me just give you an example. Let's say you eat nothing, right? Let's say you eat zero calories for two weeks. Obviously, you're gonna lose muscle. So you have to have that right deficit where your body can lose body fat without muscle. Now, interestingly enough, the more fat you have to lose, the more body fat you can break down every day. And as you get down to a lower, lower body fat, your body can only break down and mobilize a smaller amount of fat each day. And this is very important. This is important for survival because again, you need a certain amount of fat to survive, to function. If you had virtually 0% body fat, well, you would die before you even hit 0%. For men, 3% is essential, but like below five, 6% body fat, your body really starts to break down, hormonal levels crash. It's not good, okay? Now, to build muscle, right, you gotta get enough protein, you gotta get enough calories, you need the building blocks to actually build and produce muscle tissue, and you have to trigger, you need a trigger to gain muscle, which is basically lifting. Lifting heavier and heavier weights for more and more repetitions is a signal, it's a signal to gain muscle. So, technically, right, gaining muscle requires an anabolic environment, which is a growth environment. The putting on muscle, putting on fat is both inherently anabolic. It's growth, we're, we're building tissue. And losing fat requires a catabolic environment. You're breaking tissue down, whether it's muscle or fat. Now, if you're too anabolic, what happens? Yes, you're gaining muscle, but you're also putting on body fat. And if you're too catabolic, yeah, you're breaking down fat, but you're also breaking down muscle. So you really wanna optimize the balance between being anabolic growth and breakdown. Too much of either will work against you and it will tip the scale in the wrong direction. Because again, we wanna have maximum muscle, minimum fat. So let's get into actually what I see with my own clients and my own self. If you take someone that's very advanced, that's a lean, that's in awesome shape, the idea of that person putting on even more muscle and losing fat is very rare. It's, it, it doesn't really happen, okay? Because someone that's been lifting weights for 10 years, that's natural, already there's very little muscle they can still gain, right? I've been lifting weights for 18 years. You know, I'm playing within a range of four pounds. I can fluctuate, I can have, you know, I can kind of fluctuate, but I'm not gonna be able to create 15 pounds of new muscle tissue while staying lean. It's just not in the cards as a natural, okay? So guys that have been, that are very, very advanced, the idea of putting on muscle, losing fat is, is very hard. You kind of have to pick your, pick your, your goal. But what I see with guys that are new to my training system, maybe they're doing something else before, they're new to my system. Most men have to lose fat, right? Most guys are not eight, nine, 10% body fat. Most guys are around 14 to 18% body fat. And you know, 15% body fat is actually still considered fairly lean. So with these guys, when I get them to eat at a small deficit, get enough protein, do a short fast every day, eat big fulfilling meals, train three days per week, train with the perfect amount of volume, get stronger on key lifts, 
then most guys, as they cut from like 16% body fat down to 10, they lose 12 pounds of fat, a lot of times their strength goes up and they will add muscle tissue. They will add three, four, maybe five pounds of muscle tissue. And so it is a thing, it's common. I've seen a lot of guys do my program, get leaner, get stronger, and thus actually add some lean muscle. Now, it's not like they're gaining 15 pounds of muscle and cutting 15 pounds of fat. That absolutely does not happen. What does happen is they can lose like 12 to 15 pounds of body fat over the course of, you know, four or five months, and in that same time frame, gain four or five pounds of muscle. So it's a small amount of muscle, but four or five pounds placed in the right areas and while getting leaner makes a world of a difference. It actually makes a very, very big difference. So how that actually works is that at the very same moment in time, okay, at, at the very same second, your body's not actually gaining muscle and losing fat, but your body goes through these different anabolic catabolic cycles. So for example, let's say you wake up at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. and you're fasting during the day. Your body's actually primed, is in a really, really good state to actually break down body fat during that fast. So that fast is a really good time where your body can break down body fat. Now, as you do a big workout, you create that signal, you start to refeed, eat more calories. Sure, in the course of the entire day, you're in a small deficit, but in that moment of time, you're kind of triggering the anabolic state, your body can actually help support, rebuild, and strengthen your muscle tissue. And so a lot of times that energy deficit is met by breaking down body fat, but you're still getting enough calories and protein and raw ingredients to actually build muscle. So I do actually see a lot of clients, usually the beginners, the intermediates, people that are new to my training, that actually cut 12 to 20 pounds of body fat while putting on anywhere from, you know, three to six, seven pounds of muscle. You only get that state, you know, for that first, you know, four to six months of training. And then after that, to really keep putting on more muscle, you have to sort of be in a calorie surplus. Um, but pretty much the easiest way to know if you're gaining muscle, whether you're in a small deficit, whether you're in a surplus, is are you getting stronger? Once you've mastered the neuromuscular coordination of lifting, if you can actually put on 15 pounds on your incline bench press for five reps, that is essentially proof you've gained muscle. Strength is a byproduct of muscle, especially if you're training in that five to 10 rep range. The stronger you get in five to 10 reps, the more muscle you're gonna have. So if you're getting leaner and your strength is shooting up and you've, you've already perfected your form, you've perfected the neuromuscular coordination, you are gaining muscle. So it is actually possible to be in a small deficit, not a big deficit, get leaner, increase your strength, and thus add some muscle tissue. But again, you're not gonna be able to maintain that for very long, and it's gonna be a small amount of muscle, three, six pound, three to six pounds. It's not gonna be like, I'm gaining 10 pounds of muscle, losing 10 pounds of fat. Now, the second thing to say is that this phenomenon only really happens when you're in a small deficit. If you're eating at a surplus and you're gaining weight, it's very hard for your body to actually break down body fat in a surplus. It's very hard, so if you really want to capitalize on this, you really need to be in a deficit. You're not going to lose fat while eating in a surplus. That is extremely, extremely rare. Um, and the last thing I'll say is that I don't really, I don't really worry about trying to do a, a pure recomposition. I focus on one goal, whether it's muscle gain or fat loss. And if it's fat loss, any strength or muscle that I might potentially get, which is a lot harder now, is pretty much a bonus. Um, I'm not trying to like, I'm never trying to be like, I'm going to stay at the exact same weight and then, and then put on five pounds of muscle, lose five pounds of fat. It's like, I'm focused on one goal, whether it's cutting or it's lean bulking. And, and that's pretty much it. Now I do like to do sort of a recomp plan, like a maintenance plan after I finish a cut. So if I, if I, if I'm cutting to like 174, 175, before I even go to a lean bulk, I'm going to just focus on maintaining that weight and just getting a bit stronger. So I'll kind of maintain leanness, maybe fill it a little bit, maybe look because I filled it a little bit, I'll look better. Um, but that's sort of my strategy. After a cut, I'll kind of eat at maintenance, lock in that weight, get a bit fuller before increasing the calories. And I find that after a period of cutting, a period of energy deficit, your body's kind of primed to gain muscle. Just like after doing a lean bulk, eating higher and higher calories, your body's primed when you cut the calories to lose weight very, very quickly. So all of these things, the anabolic state supports the fat loss when you start cutting. And then being in, doing a cutting plan supports the anabolic rebound when you start increasing your calories. So again, 
to really build the best physique possible, you want to optimize catabolic and anabolic. You can't be in either one. That's why I like to do, when I'm bulking, I do a smaller surplus, I still do a fast, and I find I get really, really good results. When I'm cutting, I do a smaller deficit, and I'll do like those, you know, I'll still eat quite a few carbs, I'll still, I'll still like, you know, fill up on like good foods, eat a small deficit, and I find I'm really able to like retain muscle and lean down. And uh, that's pretty much it. Absolutely, it is possible as a natural to lose fat and put on a bit of muscle, okay? But that's really only possible for like the first four to six months of a new plan. Then as you start to get leaner, eventually to keep putting on more muscle, you gotta be in a bit of a surplus. Now, one of the mistakes that a lot of men make that were chubbier in the, in the past was they're very scared about increasing their calories. They always feel like they need to be in a deficit. They eat at maintenance or eat at a surplus, they're gonna blow up. That is not the case. If you wanna build the best possible physique, you cannot be scared of eating at maintenance. It's actually important. If you wanna maintain an amazing physique, lean physique for life, you need to learn how to master eating at maintenance. And that's a video that we'll cover soon. Because if you're always in a deficit, it's first of all, it's impossible to always be in a deficit. You're, you're gonna break, you're gonna start to overeat. But if you're always in a deficit, you're just not gonna be able to put on the strength and muscle that you need to, okay? So it's really, really important to be able to master eating at a small deficit, maintenance, lean bulking, and to really balance out the anabolic, the catabolic, so you have that strongest, most chiseled physique that you can possibly have. So hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to apply for my new Accelerator Coaching Program, I'll put a link here or in the description. This thing is insane. We got 120 guys in this program right now. I'm coaching them, we're doing calls every week. We're getting these guys the best possible results. It's freaking awesome. And I'll see you guys soon.